were unable to join the training. So um, as everybody is here, uh, we'll start with the training. So um, I would welcome all of you to the training and um, let me give you a little overview of this entire training. So initially this training start, started for the NGOs uh, who are providing essential services to the population uh, like healthcare, food, water, housing, sanitation, and uh, a lot of uh, uh, other uh, like distribution of rations and masks and a lot of um, uh, relief activity uh, on ground. So um, for them, it was a need that they need to, uh, they needed adequate information on the infection control measures, and uh, so that they could deliver all their duties confidently without the fear of acquiring this disease, um, and also uh, protecting their beneficiaries uh, by taking a lot of uh, protective measures. Uh, today, this training is for all of us uh, because uh, we are now. Um, I think we are at the peak of the uh, COVID pandemic situation and uh, day by day the cases are increasing. Um, we, in, in fact, our family and friends have also been affected by this uh, disease and we have very closely seen the situations uh, around us. And even from um, my personal experience that my family was also affected from this disease and it was really, really very, um, it was very unpleasant situation. And uh, by hearing that uh, ki COVID ho gaya hai, it's, it's different than experiencing it. So um, we also know that uh, we need to take the, uh, the risk of infection very seriously. And we have to follow certain advices which are issued by national and international uh, health authorities. And uh, although for most of the people, COVID-19 uh, causes only mild illness, but it can become very serious uh, in some people and also uh, uh, can be fatal at times. And um, there are vulnerable populations like our, uh, um, our grandparents, uh, young children, pregnant women, they all are very much vulnerable to this disease. And hence, uh, everybody needs to take care of uh, this. And also, um, we need to take this uh, risk of infection seriously. So for today, uh, our, um, the entire training will include uh, primary information about the virus and the disease, uh, its mode of spread, uh, its clinical features, what we call it as signs and symptoms, and also protective measures like social distancing, hand wash, uh, touch control, cuff etiquette, and a lot of more things. And the role of uh, personal protective equipment. Here we'll be uh, providing a demo of uh, how to, wear, how to wear a mask and what all masks are available. Uh, this information will also be provided. And um, uh, the main agenda is to, uh, you know, uh, sensitize all of us with the um, seriousness and what all things we can, what all precautions we can take to protect us and our family members and friends. And, um, yeah, so uh, today, uh, Dr. Butch will be uh, training us on this and uh, we all are very much um, happy to have Dr. Butch with us. Although I have attended a lot of trainings where Dr. Butch has given the presentation, but it's always a pleasure to be a part of the training where Dr. Butch is presenting and also as uh, one of the training. Um, so I would invite Dr. Butch. Uh, I would um, ask you to please... Um, present your presentation. Um, are, you, are you able to share your screen, Dr. Butch? Well, you have disabled my okay. participant screen, screen sharing. Uh, so can you see now? Is it, is it uh, okay now? Yes. Okay. Can, can, can all of you see my screen? Yes, Dr. Butch. Okay, that's wonderful. So, um, friends, welcome you on the board. As Corona cases are fortunately coming down in Mumbai, Maharashtra, Thane, Pune, etc., 
unfortunately they they are on a rise in some other parts of the country like delhi is witnessing one of the worst case scenario and uh, similarly kerala is also doing the same ahmedabad is going the same way uh, oh. curfew is imposed for uh, some 60 hours and there is a message circulating that okay three nights and two days at your home sponsors ahmedabad corporation so we need to really refresh our own understanding about corona virus and covid 19 as a disease and uh, today we are going to have the say we will rush through the uh, presentation because most of the things are by now known to us but what uh, we would like to focus more is to provide you some information some medical information about it and the questions what you have in your mind so that that i think uh, will focus more rather than showing you the presentation because by now you all must have known all these facts unfortunately there is a role of social media and social media many a times gives you a lot of garbage and being a computer associated company we know uh, the dictum garbage in garbage out so if we put in some garbage in our mind or our brain what will come out is a garbage so let us let us have the correct information and uh, we will clear some doubts about the disease in question answer session so first thing what you see like a ball with uh, red dots on it is a picture image of corona virus in fact it's not this this large if you collect all the corona viruses present in all some 3 billion 3 million cases available 3 crore cases available all over world and put it that will not be larger than a top of a pin so that's the size of the virus this has been magnified uh, so many times to make a picture of it by electron microscope and the the red things what you uh, see are are the culprits they anchor onto our cell and get into inside our cells the second picture what you see is a lady wearing a mask and wearing a mask uh, will be demonstrated to us by a similar beautiful lady amongst us and that is sreshta third picture uh, on the on the bottom uh, right is somebody washing hands so that's uh, one of the best ways and the safe greetings like namaste is also one of the best ways to protect yourself well this powerpoint presentation is updated updated up to 15th november 2020 because uh, picture and information and knowledge and guidelines are changing on a daily basis and something what we learn today might become obsolete tomorrow might again become correct day after tomorrow so we need to uh, keep abreast about the information what is flowing but it should come from the correct source we have used existing guidelines of government of india icmr etc guidelines differ from country to country well, luckily we are from the same country so guidelines don't differ guidelines are updated from time to time and that's why it's recommended that the user of this presentation verifies updated and local guidelines this thing we had to put because we were sharing our presentation with our partner organizations uh, whom we were uh, imparting training but then we do not have any access to the presentation and update it at their uh, level so we tried to put this so some in some batches they it reads 1st of august and then some 15th of august and something like that so they they should be clearly knowing that the things are changing and at the end of end of this discussion what we visualize is that we will be able to tell signs and symptoms of covid-19 take a proper preventive measures for ourselves wear simple cotton mask or triple layer mask as per guidelines uh, tell messages of iec covering all the points of social distancing cough etiquette hand wash and touch care and discuss protection during common situations these 
these common situations we have collected from the question answers of the participants what what they frequently asked we have put put it here so that we don't have to repeat it every time now what are the clinical features incubation period is 2 to 14 days and average is 5 days for the non medical audience incubation period would be a new word it's not that that uh, you inhale um, some smoke and you start coughing or you in, inhale some tobacco substance and you have a sneeze immediately here you inhale a virus virus goes inside your body it goes uh, through its own life cycle it uh, matures it uh, multiplies and uh, it gives you disease and that takes takes its own time and this is true for all the diseases what do we have so the point of entry of the microorganism which is causing the disease inside our body to the onset of first symptom we are infected but in the process of getting the disease this is called incubation period so today you inhale the virus by 14th day you will definitely have some symptoms if you were going to get ill but the average time taken is 5 days now you will say that why 2 days why 5 days why 14 days and that depends upon your own innate capacity to fight out the disease if you can fight the disease strongly you may not develop a disease at all and you will kill the virus but if at one particular point of time the virus overcomes the strength of your body immune system or your your body resistance you get ill so that depends upon your innate or your own immunity or resistance power at the point of at that point of time symptoms are wide ranging from very mild condition like common cold to severe that would need icu care so there is a wide clinical picture somebody might get nothing not even a single drop of water coming out of na nose neither a sneeze nor a cough nothing somebody will have a mild running of nose while somebody will require a ventilator so that's a wide spectrum person can be asymptomatic also fever is most important it starts as low grade but soon becomes high grade shuruaat ke dino mein wo thoda thoda halka halka rehta hai but uh, it becomes a shooting uh, high grade fever within a couple of days associated respiratory symptoms because most of the times this is a respiratory disease so running of nose some sore throat cough body ache sputum breathlessness chest pain etc would come your way but out of the pathogenesis of the disease the pathogenesis is that it gives rise to blood clots in many of the vessels so something like heart attack also would be or or a stroke also would be on your way loss of smell and taste sens sensations are really becoming very important symptoms uh, now although they were identified later but today they have become one of the main stages of the, the diagnosis and there could be many more clinical features also mode of transmission all corona viruses are transmitted by droplets see a corona is not a single virus corona is a family of viruses and some of them are very mild disease causing viruses like our usual common cold is also a corona virus while um, sars which had, which we had seen uh, somewhere earlier in the 1995 or something like that that was also a corona virus uh, some 2001 sars that was also corona virus mers middle east respiratory syndrome was also a corona virus covid also is a corona virus all corona viruses are basically animal viruses they do not uh, uh, have a, a regular human host but they accidentally come to human host and they get they they give disease average 3000 droplets are there in single cough even if you are healthy and you cough 
there are micro micro small small droplets of cough or secretions in your uh, windpipe that will come out and they are around 3000 in number in a single cough and they travel at a speed of 150 kilometers per hour that is um, around three times the speed of uh, the usual speed of my bike maybe sagar would be riding a little more faster <coughs> and uh, double the speed of a car on a highway but see uh, the droplets of this cough they don't get continuous propagation they are just pushed once by by the act of cough so they don't travel very far they can travel up to 1 to 2 meters and it's not that that it, it will go parallel to the earth for 2 meters and then just drop down no it will have a curved uh, route and gradually it will come down and by 2 meters it will touch your feet so 1 uh, meter of social distance is adequate this is how the social distancing has come into picture corona ki kya majboori rakho do gaz ki doori sometimes we we ask the participants to chant the slogans with us mai bolunga corona ki kya majboori aur aap apne apne ko unmute karke bologe rakho do gaz ki doori aisa i don't want you to do it you just realize what what would have been going on now what is droplet transmission airborne transmission airborne transmission is one thing when you cough the things remain afloat in the the microorganisms the bacteria the viruses remain afloat in the air and uh, maybe half an hour later somebody comes in that that room and inhales will get the disease that is called airborne but the droplets are the little watery drops which uh, which are secretions of your windpipe and they come out with the cough but then because of gravity they will settle down on the earth within no time if you are very near to the person less than a meter then probably you might inhale that into your breath otherwise you will not inhale it because if you are little far off the droplets by that time would have dropped down to the level of your chest then the level of your belt then the level of your knees and if you are at 2 meters they will touch your feet so you will get infection only if you are too close but what happens to the droplets all droplets do not go to the ground some droplets settle down on the table top some droplets settle down on the keyboard some on the wall some on the cupboard or whatever and um, please remember that they can survive for number of days on these surface the virus can survive for around 8 days on a on a dry surface so if it falls on your table top it's viable up to 8 uh, days and if if somebody touches the table top the virus will get transmitted to his fingers fingertips and now if he scratches his nose or puts the finger in the mouth or scratches the eyes all have got connection to the respiratory system and the virus will travel down to the respiratory system so um, you just don't know that you have touched the surface you don't know that somebody infected with uh, covid or corona had come to come here and had cough you are just unaware of the of the fear but but you are endangered and you would get disease the droplets might settle on earth on the floor usually we you don't touch the floor but when uh, when a sweeper sweeps with a broom the dust particles come up in the atmosphere and dust particles are little lighter and by now the liquid of the droplet has dried out so the virus can remain afloat for a longer time than the uh, speculated uh, time of a droplet 
and that's why in the hospitals well droplet transmission is with many other diseases also like tb and others so in hospitals it is a rule that you don't use broom you uh, use only the mop you mop it once twice thrice as many times as you want but you will not sweep the floor with with broom so that the settled particles cannot come here also we have to take care that if somebody has got the disease in our house maybe unfortunately we are affected then that room should not be swept it should be mopped so now the other thing has come is this, this is a minor thing that you mop not don't use the broom but the touch control is very important the preventive messages are social distancing as we have discussed that if you are 2 meters away from somebody you are hardly having any chance of getting any infection but suppose you have touched some surface and you just are unaware that there is a virus there it looks very clean then what you need to wash your hands frequently you don't uh, shake hands because if somebody has coughed and has put his uh, palms in front of his mouth the droplets have come out but the droplets are not visible so his hand doesn't look dirty if if his hand would have been uh, dirty he would have washed and if his hand would have looked dirty he would not have a handshake but it uh, it doesn't look anything so you you safely handshake you you unsafely handshake and you feel that you are safe and that's why we say that uh, you better do namaste rather than or or any other uh, greeting gesture rather than hand uh, handshake and wash touch control don't touch places if you need to touch immediately wash your hands and touch with that part of body that will never touch your um, face or mouth or nose or eyes anything say for example if you are going to open the door usually what we do is we get hold of the handle push it downwards and pull, uh, push it out rather than that you do it with your shoulder you do it with your elbow you do it with your leg these Uh, parts of your body are never going to touch your face nor the body like uh, switches or uh, electric switches or buttons of lift you don't put your finger tip on it you better uh, fold your fingers and see the bony prominences these are called knuckles you press the uh, buttons buttons of the lift buttons of the electricity with uh, these knuckles whenever you touch your face you will uh, reflex it touch it with your fingertips you are not going to touch it with your knuckles so these are the instructions of touch control mask and other equipments see masks uh, serve two purposes if the person is infected it will not allow the infection to be spread to others and if the person is healthy the atmospheric uh, inhalation of uh, virus will not or the droplets will not happen because of the mask so mask is protective to yourself also and protecting others also and if a patient and a healthy person both wear mask and if they are at a distance of 2 meters there is 0% chance of infection of uh, this disease so Uh, these are simple ways how we can protect ourselves and and we are really talking about uh, the, some vaccines and vaccine coming from russia and from australia and from our own countries and and and, and what not and some of the drugs which are there whether they are useful and the other day they will say it's not useful and then trump will ask from us and we will send and somebody will say that oh we, why are you sending these drugs when our own country is going to need it and, well what all you need is Uh, hand washing safe distancing and a mask and cough etiquette see if you cough 3000 droplets will come out but that that's if you your mouth is open 
if you put a handkerchief in front of it all the 3000 will go into your handkerchief and then you put your handkerchief to wash yes unfortunately if you uh, rub your face with your handkerchief to clean it to clean your face then you are fully infected so whenever you use handkerchief for cough use two hand handkerchiefs one for cough and one for your face or fingers or what we will we will see cough etiquette in some other uh, slides also now social distancing is 1 meter distance as we have talked lekin ab to do gaz ki duri keh rahe hain kyunki see somebody might cough with with very strong force somebody might have got a fan behind him so 1 meter might not suffice so it is better to be on safer side so why not have 2 meters distance no hand shake avoid crowds avoid market places avoid social programs like marriage and um, deaths and everything physical groups see people have got a habit of uh, getting together in the uh, temples and in the gardens and they sit uh, sit for hours together especially the elderly people who don't have uh, any work to be done and in fact uh, people at at home want that uh, they should go out for some time so uh, they are unwanted inside and this this is the uh, this is the biggest hurdle in uh, containing the spread see here are some pictures these these two stalwarts are doing namaste usually the heads of countries they shake hands they hug and uh, they are not alone they have got some 50 60 70 people as delegation from their country and similarly there will be 50 60 70 people as delegates from the other country everybody will uh, shake hands now now you decide if some somebody was infected how many are infected now at the at the end of one hand shake and other thing is that uh, if the leaders uh, lead by their own behavior and they start doing namaste people also will follow them the other picture is uh, an eatery and they have put a board that we are open for take away orders only now just think you are uh, you are put up at your residence you are not going out unnecessarily you are really bored you would like to have some taste buds satisfied and you would like to get some outside food if you go to the hotel you must have seen that the hotels are very crowded places there are so many people there there are so many people even waiting outside and then there are some waiters and there are some cleaning boys and there are some people who are just wandering to take orders and then there would be a manager who would come and ask you that how was the food and where is the social distance of 2 meters but rather than 50 people crowding at uh, this eatery if you bring uh, the food home and we consider an average family size of 5 people only 10 people will come here and will not sit till they eat they take the parcel and go home and enjoy the food with their family so this is this is a very good way of avoiding crowding and avoiding the transmission now vegetable market crowding you see the picture of a vegetable market in this crowd you just cannot move some few feet distance without rubbing with somebody else where is the social distancing it cannot be neither you have any control over people coming over there see you must you must have seen by now that people have got a thermal gun and then before entry they will measure your temperature and they will ask you to sanitize your hands and, but at this place nothing is happening and you just don't know who is the other person and who is suffering from uh, covid so what to do we need vegetables to survive and that's why what i say is that rather than going to these market places you better uh, go to a shop in your society or in your community he might be 2 rupees costly he might not have as many varieties of vegetables as as this thok market would be having but um, certainly you will not catch an infection because it's it's not a crowded place even people are saying that vegetable uh, 
vendors are super spreaders i tell it the other way around in fact they are corona warriors they they suffer the disease they suffer from the threat of disease but serve you with your um, essential commodities so better purchase from these people rather than crowding at a market theaters theaters now are opening but they were closed and that was a very wise thing it is a closed space so uh, the infection would spread very easily but now if you say that if somebody is sitting in the first row can up to 2 meters spread the disease up to fourth fifth row but not beyond that no no it's not like that in a closed space it would uh, be little little more one second thing is that uh, you you when you go out or when you come in there is crowding when the when the show is over there will be a small corridor from which 100 people would be rushing out so these are really very dangerous places and if you if if somebody sitting in the sixth row is your friend you will say hi you are also come and you also will stand up and then we will come in the foyer and talk to each other and and some of us, your other friend will come from the uh, 15th row and he also talks and then he goes back and he gets some some of his friend well, and there is no limit public transport if you are traveling by your own car it's it's really good but um, it's not safe to go by public transport because there are other people also and uh, well this is an exceptional picture of a bus but uh, think of any bus or any train not even not in the general bogey but even in the reserved compartments you just can't sit without rubbing both the shoulders with somebody else so there is no social distancing you should or you must avoid all travels during this time no parties and celebrations see if people are dancing and this and that where is, where is the social distancing even even in death celebrations say if there is a smashan yatra and people are going to the mortuary and then there will be crowding there will be crowding in a uh, in a small space people get together people get near the dead body and offer flowers and all these things and no no and uh, or fir wo teravi ya chautha ya aisa kuch hota hai wo usme bhi bahut sare log aa jate hain rather than that we should avoid all these things dur se karo hello hi varna zindagi se bye bye dur se karo hello hi varna zindagi se bye bye agar jo hum mile gale corona ki balle balle agar jo hum mile gale corona ki balle balle the other uh, point to discuss is hand washing and sanitization haath ho saaf corona ho maaf sabun se aap 20 second haath dho lo with flowing water very good but you don't get flowing water everywhere suppose you are you are going out and um, you have touch the staircases staircases are such places where everybody touches if you touch the staircase then probably your hand is polluted or infected you need to wash hands but you don't get um, running water everywhere so better ha have a hand sanitizer in your pocket or a bag and keep on sanitizing your hands frequently especially when you have touched an object now many people ask me whether soap is bought better or whether sanitizer is better i'll say that alcohol based sanitizer is needed all kinds of aloe vera and other sanitizers are not as useful it should have at least 70% of alcohol but uh, soap water is still better why because soap removes the virus in two ways it has got double action one is that every virus has got a, a outer layer of uh, fat jiske andar uska genetic material banda hua hai if you remove the fat everything will be 
exposed and thrown out it will not be in a collected manner and we all know that uh, soap dissolves fat it removes the fat so virus will be killed and second thing is that soap removes something sticking to your skin soap removes something sticking to your skin so if virus has still survived and is sticking to your uh, skin the way it removes dirt it will remove the virus and the flowing water will wash it away into the drain so it removes the virus in two ways while sanitizer only kills it doesn't remove the way the soap removes it from the um, skin so if they have survived the dose of sanitizer was not in adequate or the alcohol in it had evaporated then you don't remove the viruses that's why hand washing is better than sanitizer of course sanitizer also has got some effect on the skin now touch control suppose you want to open the door how would you open this door there is a handle you need to press it down usually you would uh, hold it in your palm or fingers and press it down now see how this person is doing it she is pushing it pushing the handle down with the elbow if the handle was contaminated by somebody touching of uh, touching on it her elbow is contaminated but she is not going to scratch the nose or eyes or face with the elbow now if somebody else is touching the elbow that that fellow will be infected but usually people don't touch and uh, back home you will take bath so everything will be washed up this is elbow operated tap the next picture elbow operated tap you when you when you touch the tap open the tap you will have to touch it with your bare fingers and fingers are contaminated now you wash your hands and again touch it to close it everything goes in vain again your hands are contaminated and this uh, contaminated tap if somebody else wants to wash hands will again get contaminated so it's it's better to wash the handle of the tap or the cork of the tap with soap still in your hands while you are washing so that you will remove all the germs that you have given by uh, touch during opening it but if you have got all elbow operated tap such taps are available in operation theaters the surgeons before operating they scrub themselves and uh, while closing the tap they use this elbow kind of a thing push the elbow operated uh, nozzle and uh, that will be closed such taps are available for our bathrooms today we don't have it but when we change our taps we would better bring such taps in our bathroom but then there are certain places where you need to touch say for example this fellow is trying to press um, that uh, toilet uh, washer now if you want to do this you will have to touch it so if you can have a tissue paper and um, this tissue paper should be folded and you can use it so you don't touch it anywhere so your hands are contaminated it will not contaminate the handle and handle contaminated will not contaminate your fingers yes any paper will do newspaper will not do and toilet paper also will not do because they soak water and as you know that droplets are having liquid in it so if you if you need to use uh, toilet paper or uh, this uh, newspaper fold it 3 4 times so that uh, the wet surface doesn't touch your thumb now the bottom is don'ts don't touch your eyes see people have got a habit of touching eyes rubbing eyes rubbing nose touching your face this will put the infection on your mucous membrane of nose face uh, mouth eyes or skin of face from where it can any time go into your respiratory system 
with your finger in touch so uh, and the the other fellow is touching the mask now why have you worn the mask you want to filter out something what is notorious to your health and keep it outside now the the filter has worked and it has uh, the outside of this is absolutely contaminated and if you touch it your fingers are contaminated so you don't touch a mask after you have worn it and uh, you directly throw it to wash or throw it to dishwash now this is cough etiquette cover your mouth while coughing or sneezing एक एक हैंकी रख लो दैट्स बेस्ट बट समटाइम्स इट सो हैपेंस दैट यू डोंट हैव अ टाइम टू रिमूव द हैंकी फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट और मे बी दैट यू आर इन अ क्राउड और सिटिंग और एंड यू हैव गॉट एन अर्जेंसी ऑफ कॉफ कॉफ इन योर एल्बो फोल्ड योर हैंड्स एंड कॉफ इन योर एल्बो सो दैट द वायरसेस विल गो इनसाइड द क्लोथ ऑफ दैट स्लीव but now this is true for the people who who wear long sleeve thing suppose if somebody is having half sleeved uh, shirt then okay you turn your head to one side little more and cough it on in the clothes but what about the girls many people are wearing a uh, sleeveless uh, kind of a dress or the the sleeves are very small in that case they can use their dupatta or something else you cough into a cloth and that cloth should not touch your face and that cloth should go to wash once you return home and masking a mask wearing is a must now so wear a mask and you even if you cough it will if it will go into your mask and others will not get any contamination so this is called cough etiquette mask and their use see there are different kinds of mask the first mark mask this girl is wearing is called triple layer or surgical mask the second is a cotton mask and third is n95 mask n95 masks are for very um, complicated uh, issues of hospital use even surgical mask or triple layer mask is also for hospital use general public do not need to wear these masks see these are the saviors of life helmet the the sword and the what is called this dal and uh, there is a mask these are saviors of life now we will have a demonstration and shrestha are you there will you please demonstrate yes dr bhuj okay thank you am i visible to all no um okay let me try again uh dr bus can you um stop your screen sharing i'll try once again okay my screen sharing is already paused okay. 
अभी भी दिखती नहीं हो भाई I guess there's some problem with my uh, camera. Uh, Doctor, just can you continue? I'll uh, as soon as I figure this sure. out. Sure. Sure. Start it. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. मास्क नहीं तो टोकेंगे कोरोना को रोकेंगे अ वेरी नाइस स्लोगन दैट हैज बीन कमिंग अप इन द आईसी एक्टिविटीज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मास्क नहीं तो टोकेंगे कोरोना को रोकेंगे नाउ दिस किड इज डूइंग वन ऑफ द बेस्ट थिंग्स व्हेन एवर यू रिटर्न फ्रॉम आउटसाइड सी वेल यू यू नीड टू गो आउट somebody needs to go out for to the office and somebody needs to go out for shopping and buying some groceries or milk or whatever so there are there are 100 activities what we need to do and there are chances that while returning while we were out some passer by might have um, thrown some infection on our clothes on our face on our hands on our face everywhere so what we need to do is that when we come home don't touch anywhere go directly to bathroom change all the clothes you don't need to change change undergarments uh, because uh, naturally they are protected from getting infected but uh, you need to change your clothes put them to wash take a uh, thorough bath and naturally uh, you have not touched anywhere in the inside the house but you have touched you have touched hello am i audible ha huh. whenever you whenever you go to the bathroom you will touch the tap you will touch the uh, the stopper or, uh, or the kundi of the the door so when you are bathing bathing you need to wash this place with a soap in your hand so that they are also becoming safe now these clothes you don't need to wash just now you may put it to your washing machine and many people do not have washing machine because there are some uh, people from uh, lower income group or particular kind of uh, habits and uh, they they don't have so they also don't need to wash it right at that time they put it in the bucket and put a cover on that bucket so that uh, accidentally if the bucket falls the clothes will not come out and you can wash it next day along with all other clothes because when you wash clothes they are rinsed into soap water and this soap will kill the virus on the clothes or it will remove it from the surface of the clothes and will go to the drain with running water so and and you dry it in in sunlight for 2 hours or so no virus can survive afterwards what precautions should you take wear a cotton mask when you go out you need to do at least these things wear a cotton mask carry one or two extra because there are chances that you might need to change say for example it is spoiled you have coughed and and some liquid has come out or or something has fallen from outside you you might need to change one and second thing is that uh, sresta will tell you that cotton mask cannot be worn more than 3 4 hours so if you are out for 6 hours 7 hours you need to have another mask suppose if you need to take your food in between and remove the mask you need to have another mask it is better to wear a cap or suitable headgear this is not given anywhere yes rest i were seen so shall i stop here or shall i come complete this slide uh you can complete this slide okay thank you so 
nobody gives this advice but i give wear cap or a suitable head gear so that along with the dust particles or the droplets the viruses do not fall into your hair hair are electrically charged you might have seen children playing uh, like this uh, with dry hair recently hair wash and you put a comb inside it uh, you run the comb through your hair it will have a particular sparkling sound and the comb will lift a small piece of paper from ground and children uh, are amazed at it and they play like that why this happens because rubbing of hair and comb charges electrically both the surfaces and then they attract so your hair can attract droplets or dust particles which could be contaminated now then you might scratch your head or hair or when you when you sleep your hair touches your pillow and uh, the virus might go to your pillow and when you roll uh, the your nose touches the pillow and you you get the virus so it is better to wear cap because daily or three times a day you go out three times a day you cannot wash your hair yes only uh, a hair cover like pallu or anything will do wash hands frequently do not touch ob objects touched by others and this includes books notebooks game articles jaise bachche khelte hain gend wagera pen nothing coming home remove shoes outside do not touch anywhere after coming home before taking bath in fact um, we have kept hand sanitizer outside our home so when we come uh, from outside we first sanitize our hands so that in case if we need to touch somewhere in, in our house nothing is contaminated not even the tap or the stopper of the bathroom all clothes worn during out uh, going out should be changed washed and dried in sun this would mean you need at least two three more sets of uniform if uh, if you are uh, prescribed a uniform take baths or wash hands see if if somebody needs to go out four five times a day maybe they take uh, taking bath four five times a day would not be practically possible but then wash hands face and feet with ample water and soap because these are the most exposed uh, skin surfaces and keep a distance of at least 1 meter from everybody including friends and family members now i would uh, request sister to take up and stop sharing the screen thank you dr kush uh, i'll just start my video am i visible now yes you are yeah in a smaller frame uh, is it better yes like uh, will you all be able to see what i am demonstrating yeah i guess dekho agar aise baal hai na to fir mushkil hai you need to tie a knot um, on your head or so that you are protected your mask or any any yeah. anything will not cover your entire hair and this is true for the people with beard na huh, karishma <laughs> okay yes. go ahead yeah. okay um so everyone um this uh, demonstration is included is included in this training that's because um it is as necessary uh, to know it is very much necessary to have a mask and also it is necessary how necessary to know how to wear a mask so um, this is the reason um, we have included this in the uh, video i'm just uh, spotlighting my uh, video so that everybody is able to see yeah so um as dr bhuj has already explained us about the types of mask that we have a lot of uh, 
uh, we also call them uh, respirators, which are the N95 mask, N95 mask, and uh, we also have cotton mask um, uh, and the usual mask that we get, which is not a, a surgical mask. Uh, sometimes they are made of different kind of material, but mostly the inner layer of the mask are of cotton. So uh, that is one type of uh, mask. And we have another mask, which is called a triple layer mask. You might have seen this a uh, lot of times uh, in people, mostly you'll see people wearing this in the hospitals and also it is worn by the healthcare workers. Uh, so this is the triple layer mask. Uh, it is available in various colors and also it is available in, uh, with an elastic. Um, my previous elastic one that I used for demo uh was uh, overused and so i um, discarded it and i uh, took out a new one so this has strings around it and um, uh, this is supposed to be tied around your uh, head uh, while putting this surface on your face so um it's very very much important to know which surface of the mask of this surgical mask has to be kept outside and inside um, uh, because uh, this is also known as a triple layer mask. So a triple layer mask means it has three layers in it and uh, every layer has its own significance. So um, generally uh, you will see that the mask that I have is of light blue color, if you can see. Uh, this mask is also available in various colors, but what we need to uh, notice is uh, which is the colored side of the mask. So as you can see, the, uh, the way I'm holding, the colored side of the mask is this side and the other side, which is the inner side, is slightly less colored or you can say it is white in color. So you always have to make sure while wearing a triple layer mask that you always keep the colored portion, the colored layer of the mask on the outer side and the white portion of the mask in, on the inner side. So uh, the outer layer of this mask, which you can see, uh, which is in light blue color, is made of polypropylene. So uh, it has the property of not absorbing any wet material, can be water or spit or any um, water droplet, uh, even sweat. It cannot uh, absorb any wet materials. And uh, hence, it is always kept on the outer side. Also, just uh, next to the first layer is a filter layer, which we call it as a filter layer. Why? Because it filters. Uh, even if um, uh, any uh, tiniest amount of water droplet is passed through it and not absorbed, uh, uh, it will get filtered by the second layer, which is made of cotton. And uh, then the third layer is there. Uh, also, the second layer separates both the layers, so it acts as a barrier also. Uh, the third layer is made of cotton, again, uh, which is white in color. Uh, it is always uh, kept to be, um, it is always to be kept on your face side. So while wearing a mask, you have to make sure that this side is always on your face side. Uh, even if you wear it from this side, the purpose of the of this mask will not be served because, um, as I said, because of its property, if you wear it ulta, you, you it is of no use. You cannot. Uh, it will give you uh, protection for like a uh, few hours, and it will be of no use. So we really need to know how uh, how to. Uh, wear a mask in a proper way so that it can be used efficiently and it does it it uh, serves this purpose uh, also you'll be able to see that there is a small uh, very thin uh, strap metal strap kind of a thing in incorporate in incorporated in this mask if you can see this so uh, this is a metal strap which is uh, uh, it, it, which is incorporated in such a manner that it is uh, not visibly outside. It's, it is um, kept between two layers and uh, it is very much flexible. So this band, this strap, metal strap has to be always on the upper side. Why is this strap incorporated in this mask? That is because uh, whenever we wear mask, uh, we might see that there are a lot of gaps which can uh, you know, allow the outer uh, material to come inside, maybe air or even if somebody is coughing, there's a chance of something going inside your mask and then you, you might inhale that. So to protect that, uh, this strap is provided. So mostly when we wear this mask, we always um, 
see that the strap is on the upper side and it is kept on our nose. So how do we place this strap on our nose? We are simply going to place it on our face and press it with both the fingers. So I guess I'm, yeah. Uh, we are going to press this with our fingers. So what will happen? This thing will be covered uh, by this mask. So uh, once you adapt this around your nose, there will be no gap left for the outer material to come inside. So now how to wear it? As I said, we always have to look for the side. The outer side will always be the colored one. The white side will be uh, always inside and the strap side will always be on the upper side. So because we have these straps in this mask, so how, how are we going to try? After identifying the surface, we are simply going to hold the mask. But before holding the mask, make sure your hands are clean. If not, then please sanitize your hands. And uh, we are going to hold the mask with the upper strap. Okay. Uh, by holding the upper strap, you have to simply place your mask on your nose. Because the entire mask will not be placed at once. And you have to tie the upper strap around your head. Don't tie it very low around it. Uh, uh, tie it just below your, uh, sorry, just, uh, okay. Uh, please uh, tie it on the center of your head. Give me a second, please. And now take the lower straps and tie it just behind your neck like this. Okay. So after wearing the mask, you just have to adjust your mask once. And also don't forget to press this strap on your nose. Okay. Once this is done, there will be no gap left for the outer, uh, you can say, air to enter inside your mask. So it is all covered from all the sides. Sorry, uh, this is inverted because uh, I was unable to tie that properly. So make sure that the entire mask is covering your face and there is no space for the outer uh, material to come inside or maybe the air to come inside the contaminated air to come inside and just after after fixing your entire mask do not touch anything above your shoulder you don't have to touch anything above your shoulder make sure you're not scratching uh, your nose outside from outside the mask or and also not from inside of the mask do not pull your mask down while you are talking when you are out or anything do not touch anything not even your hair not even your eyes nothing above your shoulder so you have to make sure you don't touch anything like that uh, this this applies to all cases even if you're wearing a n95 mask or maybe a cotton mask or maybe the surgical mask you don't have to touch anything above your shoulder whenever you're wearing you're covering your mic or mouth or maybe uh, wearing any kind of mask so this rule applies to all the masks you wear so uh, this mask can be worn for five to six hours mostly uh, but uh, beyond that, mostly it, it gets wet uh, due to sweat and all. Uh, and sometimes for the people who tend to sweat more and who are in uh, the, um, you can say, on field and under the sun, they mostly tend to sweat more. So it, it might get uh, wet or maybe soiled before uh, uh, six to eight hours. So uh, you can, uh, this mask can protect you for like, uh, five to six hours mostly and then after that you will have to remove this mask and discard it you cannot wash this mask because this is one time use mask it is a, a um, use and throw mask and uh, uh, don't try to burn it uh, when you discard it or maybe uh, wash it with clothes or something because it is not going to get clean because of its uh, uh, just like I explained because of the layer and its property it does not get uh, completely cleaned even if you try to wash it and reuse so it's better to use it and then discard it as soon as it is uh, uh, you know uh, wet maybe it is of no use also after wearing this mask uh, whenever you feel that this mask is wet 
you don't have to wait for five to six hours or maybe eight hours to uh, for this mask to uh, you know uh, to remove this mask immediately as soon as you find that this mask is wet and it is not uh, easy for you to breathe in this mask then immediately uh, discard this mask and wear another one so how how are we going to remove this mask we are simply going to make sure that our hands are clean if not then please sanitize your hands and then we are going to open the lower strap first do not use entire hand just use fingers to open this and then we are going to open the upper strap so just in the order how we wore it so we we tied the first uh, uh, strap first and then the uh, uh, lower strap later so this time we are going to remove uh, first we are going to uh, open the lower strap first and then the upper strap so we are simply going to carefully we are going to remove this open the strap and remove the mask and with the help of the strap only we have to hold the mask after even after removing it uh, carefully remove the mask just after um, uh, uh, untying the mask and then hold it with the strap do not touch any surface of the mask even after removing it you have to simply discard it uh, to discard it if you are somewhere outside and you don't have the access to a closed bin like a bin which is having a lid on it if you don't have the access to that uh, make sure uh, you have a plastic bag or maybe a paper envelope where you can simply is this mask and uh, uh, you know cover the opening of the um, uh, envelope or maybe the plastic bag and then throw it when you are at home and you have a proper place to discard it like not throw it just discard it wherever it is a proper place and do not try and burn this because uh, that is quite dangerous and uh, yeah so this mask is uh, worn by the um, healthcare workers to also the person who is taking care of the covid positive patient uh this triple layer is mask is also used by the covid positive patient and also it is used by um clinicians and doctors and also the hospital staff who are uh, dealing with the um uh, biomedical waste so uh, this is all about the triple layer mask uh, also for us i think for going out somewhere uh, maybe to buy vegetables or maybe grocery shopping or uh, whatever things that we need in our day to day life or wherever wherever we are going like into office or maybe for some work um, i think a cotton mask is enough uh, for us uh, because we are not uh, mostly exposed to the or maybe if we are not working in a very high zone um, um a red zone which is also called where the more cases are more so um, a cotton mask will also do a cotton mask can be worn for from 3 to 4 hours but before 3 to 4 hours if you feel the cotton mask is wet and you are unable to breathe in it uh, you have to immediately change the mask and do not wait for 3 to 4 hours to be uh, removed and uh, there are many more masks many types of cotton masks available in the market you can get it online you can stitch it on your own uh, there are ngos who are stitching such kind of masks and distributing as uh, to uh, their beneficiaries and also uh, they are distributing it along with the ration for the relief work so it's very easy to make a cotton mask at home uh, i have this mask from uh, i ordered it online and uh, Uh, the mask that i have has multiple layers in it so um, uh, as much as layer you want in your mask you can put on that uh, you can maybe if you have a single layer of mask at home you can um, uh, you know stitch uh, with a, another piece of cloth in it you can uh, double the layer or maybe how much how much layer you want uh, it's always better to have a, a multiple layered mask Uh, that doesn't mean you have to make a five layer mask yeah but you can uh, obviously look for a mask which has uh, two or more layers in it that is much more um, protective you can say so this is about this mask if you don't have anything with you or maybe all the masks that you are carrying are uh, used and uh, you don't have anything to cover your uh, you don't have masks to cover your face what you can do is uh, you can use a piece of cloth which is made of cotton and it is uh, uh you know not used and it is uh, not wet so you have to make sure that even for the cotton mask you're not wearing a 
wet cotton mask or maybe the one which you have been using for a very long time and uh, you have not washed it so don't use a such dirty piece of cloth or maybe a, a scarf or a gamcha some people say gamcha uh, don't uh, use a dirty one uh, always keep a keep pair of extra mask or maybe cloth uh, which is clean and dry uh, you can always tie it around your head and uh, uh, you are ready to go if you don't have mask uh, with you so um, this is how you are going to wear a mask and make sure uh, while you um, wear a cotton mask it is going to be a long term investment so um, uh, please try and avoid the one time use mask if 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 it is not um, an urgency or maybe um, very very important for, for you to wear it uh, and uh, for washing this cotton mask or maybe a piece of cloth that you are tying around your uh, head you have to make sure uh, that you wash it with normal detergent it is not necessary for for you to use a um, uh, you can say a detol or maybe uh, you have to dip it for a long time and then uh, for a disinfectant solution for uh, washing your clothes it's not important uh, important part is you have to wash all these masks after you use it uh, do not one more important thing that uh, the mistake that we usually do is uh, whenever we come from outside we carry a mask in and we just remove it and then we keep it on the on the top of the table which is very very wrong thing uh, you have to make sure you don't contaminate any other surface do not keep your used mask on any of the commonly touched surfaces be it chair or a uh, dining table or maybe center table that you have at your place do not keep the used mask on this you simply have to come even you're coming from outside you just come from outside uh, directly go to the bathroom and then remove your mask and put it to wash immediately uh, if you are using a uh, using through mask you have to uh, make sure you're coming directly to the bathroom putting your used uh, mask into a a bin maybe if not then maybe in an envelope or a packet and then discard it later do not keep any of your used mask and even for the people who are using the gloves do not keep your gloves anywhere on the commonly surface commonly touched surface and uh, discard it immediately after you use it so after removing your mask also you have to uh, make sure that your hands are clean uh, wash wash your hands if you have the facility to um now wash your hands with soap and water please go for it if not then please use the sanitizers to wash your hand so this was all about how to wear a mask and what are precautions we need to take while wearing a mask uh, if there are any any questions uh, uh, regarding the masks please uh, write it below in the chat box and uh, we'll take it in the question and answer session um i hope that is okay uh, dr boj over to you thank you so it was a nice presentation by sister as usual the key message is keep distance of at least 1 meter with everybody do not attend crowded places like market marriage funeral temple mosque do not travel see when when there are holidays in the school and the office and everything we would like to travel we would like to go to places we would like to go for some tour or pilgrimage or whatever somebody would like to go home and uh, meet the elderly people there or look after some agricultural activities no you don't travel Tra don't travel in these days except that you are traveling by your own car and only with your family members so not only travel but go out only if absolutely needed no vacationing but not even market whenever you go out you make a list of all the activities you need to do outdoors like um, getting some groceries and getting some uh, clothes pressed and getting some milk and getting some uh, banking done um, taking taking money from atm and everything you keep a, an entire list and do it uh, in one go 
not that that you go in the morning to take milk so that your wife prepares tea for you and then you go and bring some vegetables so that that's being cooked and then then you go to grocery store so that uh, you can have some wheat flour so that you get chapatis no it's not like that and in fact when you shop for groceries say for example usually you are buying from one single shop every now and then then make a phone call that i need all these things uh, sent to you on whatsapp so that everything is packed when you go so that you don't have to stay there to uh, have contact with other customers who could be infected wash hands with soap and water frequently at least every 2 hours even in inside your house wash for at least 20 seconds if soap and water are not available hand sanitizers can do healthy general public needs simple cotton mask hand kerchief will do cough in handkerchief sleeve pallu tissue clothes uh, should be washed and tissue should be immediately thrown in a closed bin do not touch frequently touch spots like door knob tap switches mobile landline phone railings with bare hands and if touch wash surface of hands now when i say bare hands some people say that okay we, we will wear gloves but then gloves become your second sin if that is contaminated and you touch your face with your gloves your face will get contaminated it's the same thing you need to wash your gloves also do not shake hands or hug if you get fever along with cough breathlessness chest pain talk to your doctor on phone don't rush to clinic see up till now what we have been telling is that when whenever you get sick you better consult your doctor now we say that you don't go to his clinic but we we don't say that you don't consult telemedicine comes into picture here and um, you talk to him on phone if he needs uh, to examine you he will give you time you go to uh, him at that particular time so that there is no uh, no crowding in the opd or he may advise something on phone that's best do not panic 80% of corona cases are mild and routine simple treatment is required only 14% have moderate and 6 have uh, critical illness so 20% would require hospitalization now that does not mean that when when somebody is hospitalized has got to have some end up into some complications who are hospitalized those who cannot be taken care of at residence because of so many reasons say for example isolation facilities are not there people are hospitalized maybe that uh, doctors fear that some complication might arise because there are some preconditions there predisposing conditions the uh, uh, illnesses like diabetes and other things so uh, they would get admitted and that's why only 14% might get some moderate disease and 6% would get critical care mortality is around 1% only and that too in elderly people and having some comorbid conditions like heart disease blood pressure diabetes cancer aids etc isolation of confirmed case is needed it could be home isolation or it could be facility as well <clears throat> now this is something very important that how to get rid of the virus if we fear that it has come inside say if a if a relative of yours has come to your residence and tomorrow he is diagnosed as covid naturally you would be afraid that pata nahi kahan kahan itna chua hai ye wo now when you think who do you say guys and you must have seen uh, the videos of um, sanitizers uh, community sanitization like an entire office or an entire area is being sanitized and a jet of uh, water containing some chemical is being thrown and which sanitizes everything it is this solution what i am going to demonstrate now show now 0.5% of hypochlorite solution it con contains nascent chlorine ion which uh, oxidizes the virus and kills 
the sanitizing liquid is used only for surfaces not for human or animal use ab apne hand wash ke liye iska istemal na kare for that you will have to have alcohol based sanitizer because this is dangerous to your skin <coughs> it should be freshly prepared that does not mean that um, uh, every time you need uh, need it you need to prepare it but if you have prepared it 6 7 8 hours will do so morning preparation you can work it till evening but not be beyond that now hypochlorite from where do we get it the household bleach what uh, we use for bleaching our clothes or bleaching uh, our uh, tiles and some other things not not the acid which is used on tiles but the household bleach like ala bleach and others these bleach bleaches are available on any grocery shop they come in into a particular concentration most of the times it is in 5% concentration and what we want is 0.5% so we need to dilute you read the level of the commercial preparation if it is 5% 5 divided by 0.5 minus 1 is equal to 9 so it is a formula here so nine parts of water and one part of bleach will required <clears throat> so this way you prepare it you you may use it for mopping your floor you may use it use clothes um, soaked in such solution to wipe the handles and the knobs and everything and this is this is very useful you can use even bleaching powder because these bleaches are really costly and if you have got a mass use big use inside a say for example a society or a, a flats or heights something or in office you would require bleaching powder bleaching powder is also the same thing Sp sprinkling raw powder is also okay and you must have seen municipality sprinkling raw bleaching powder on dirty surfaces but and they use it for chlorination of water also look at the level they come in uh, they, this comes in the strength of 70% and 35% and how many grams of powder are needed per liter of water is percentage dilute divided by percentage concentrate we require 0.5% divided by say 70% into 1000 so that makes 7 grams so if it is 70% 7 grams in a liter if it is 35% 14 grams in a liter that will give you 0.5% hypochlorite solution and that you may use for mopping your uh, household surfaces for um, wiping your uh, this handles knobs for for your clothes disinfecting your clothes if they if you think they are heavily contaminated so this this thing uh, you you may keep this slide uh, with you for your reference now special considerations say common public toilet in the office there are there are common toilets and we are really worried that if somebody else has used it might have contaminated all the surfaces and this is this is the biggest worry everywhere i have faced not to worry you are going to wash and after coming out of toilet nahi dhoge kya to haath dhoge to fir what to worry yes before washing hands do not touch your face nose eyes anybody who is entering inside you are worried that his hands would have been contaminated so somebody enters the common toilet should wash hands even before entering the toilet bahar nikalne ke baad to dhoe gaye to ek lekin pehle hi dho dho leta hai then his hands are sanitized now if he touches the stopper or the tap or the um, or the knobs anything then there is nothing wrong the flush tank no no problem the faucet and handles buckets mugs there should be Uh, washed with bleaching solution what we have described up till now sprinkle bleaching powders near the basins in fact basins are more dangerous than than inside because people tend to stand there they they gargle there they wash their face there 
and lot of water also is uh, rather going outside the the basin also and uh, making the the floor wet so this is this is something difficult and spray bleaching solution on toilet seats say common water source you need to use mask see these two ladies are wearing mask but somebody who is handling the hand pump is not using mask she should be there are so many people standing over here and they must have cough so the dust here is contaminated so you need to hold your bucket in your hand otherwise the outer surface of the bucket will be soiled with virus the handle of the hand pump everybody touches at the same place so before touching it you wash it with sanitizer or you use gloves so that your hand, hands are not contaminated so these are certain precautions issue based precautions see here they are you, you see there is social distancing aise gole khiche jate hain and you sit in that circle you stand in that circle but here you can see that somebody has put uh, uh, the utensil on the floor there uh, on the earth that's not okay and people are not wearing mask that also is not okay but uh, these poor illiterate people Uh, they know the importance of social distancing so as these dignitaries do say yahan modi ji padhar rahe hain aur you can see uh, yogi ji the cm of uh, up uh, standing far away there are few other dignitaries standing far away and they are not shaking hands they are doing namaste even the commando is standing far away so if these dignitaries can uh, keep social distancing varna inko kon bolne wala hai but they they know the importance and they want themselves to be safe they want others to be safe what we do is this that there there are the circles drawn gole khiche hain jin mein khada rehna hai lekin mera gola kaun sa hai ye tay karne ke liye maine chappal utar rakhe hain udhar and then i am sitting in a crowded place talking to each other and uh, enjoying the company god bless us all nobody is going to protect us from virus money transaction see every time you need to uh, transact money paise dene hai wapas lene hai chutte lene hai kuch na kuch karna hai upi transaction is the best so that nobody touches the money neither you touch the money nor the other person touches the money monthly payment see grocery milk these are the vegetables these are the daily requirements and when you are buying it from one particular vendor he will be very pleased to uh, bill you monthly so only once a month you do some money transaction and that, that being the risky activity rather than doing it daily you tender exact change say for example if you have got uh, 72 rupees to be given you just give 72 rupees if you give 100 rupees not that fellow will, will be bound to give you 28 rupees back so uh, you will you will receive some money from him which could be contaminated coins can, can be sanitized but notes no they cannot be sanitized and there is one particular problem with notes that people wet their fingers with their saliva putting it in on their tongue or something and then count the notes so this is this is the most dangerous thing because uh, saliva is going to be contaminated in a, in a person who is infected and um, virus can survive for pretty long so what to do with this coins can be sanitized and can be after sanitization can be used the notes should be spared from use for say 4 5 days preferably you don't touch a shopkeeper near me does it does the same way he has tied the ropes so that people would stand 4 uh, 5 feet away from his counter and then he will uh, put a thali or a tray in front of you so that you need to put money inside and he will say is have aap sab note alag alag karke rakho so that i don't have to count तो आप एक पचास की नोट रखते हो एक बीस की रखते हो एक दस की रखते हो तो अलग अलग करके 
and then he will put it in in a drawer of his table and um, he will keep on putting money in that drawer he will open that drawer only after 4 5 days okay then mere kuch paise isme bandhe rehte hain lekin hame chuna nahi padta hai wo paise bhi usi tray mein dal ke wapas dene hai wo dega aap le lo fir wo kehta hai ki bhai paise ko aapne chua hai aap sanitize kar lo so this is uh, these are the precautions what we need to do vegetable vendors are considered to be super spreaders don't stigmatize they are super susceptible also because they are are going from place to place coming into contact with so many people if the person going to 20 societies to sell the vegetables he if he is infected he will spread the, the infection to 20 societies so he is a super spreader but he is super susceptible if somebody from 20 societies is infected he is susceptible to infection so he is a corona warrior he provides you um, important commodity at your doorstep okay putting his life to risk insists that they should wear mask and you also should don't touch vegetables or fruit unnecessarily no agar aapko bengan lene hai then you will you will touch each and every piece of that vegetable and uh, try to press or some uh, test your own way okay लेकिन गाजर मूली जो बगल में पड़ी है वो आपको नहीं देनी है उसको क्यों छूते हो गई बिकॉज दैट माइट बी कॉन्टेमिनेटेड पीस समबडी माइट हैव टच इट एंड यू विल गेट इट और इफ यू आर इन्फेक्टेड यू विल ट्रांसमिट इट टू दैट दैट पीस ऑफ वेजिटेबल व्हिच विल गो टू समबडी एल्स सो डोंट टच दोज वेजिटेबल्स व्हिच यू डोंट इंटेंड टू टू बाय एंड ट्राई टू परचेज इट फ्रॉम the society or nearby so that you don't take uh, a bag with you or a thala with you which is made up of plastic or cotton you better take a bucket put all the vegetables inside so that uh, you will not have any contact with the vegetable vendor and coming home put some water inside that bucket so that water also will uh, will stay inside will wet all the vegetables so the water should be adequate to dip all the vegetables inside and put uh, some uh, baking powder or or consumable soda soda by car into it not 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 a big amount because uh, otherwise it will spoil the quality of vegetables and it should be lukewarm water it's better plain water also will do aadhe ghante aisa rakho then then wash it with uh, running water then nothing to worry and even otherwise most of the vegetables you will peel you will peel off the skin and if the virus was there it was there on the skin nobody has given an injection in, in, inside the pulp of the vegetable and even if it is contaminated with virus still contaminated you are going to cook it and cooking will kill the virus and killed virus doesn't give you any infection anywhere only where you cannot peel nor you are going to cook say for example fruit the fruit you will um, which you can't peel and you will eat like that fruit you are not going to cook or salad you are not going to cook these are little bit dangerous again they are not going into your Uh, respiratory system you walk you wind pipe mein nahi jayega it will go into your stomach and esophagus once it enters the stomach the acid inside will kill all the virus and the digestive juices also will kill the virus so nothing to worry it's not very dangerous to buy vegetables and um, consume it only th- only thing is that when you are eating it raw without cooking you need to clean them very thoroughly because there lies the danger what about immunity developing food and drugs c a c d vitamins they are immunity boosters zinc is immunity booster so people people recommend and people take it good to have immunity yes proteins are also required for immunity so a balanced diet is the answer of good immunity rather than the 
medicines. But uh, medicines are pretty safe and you can take it uh, as prescribed by the doctor, not of your own. But then what about that giloy and uh, turmeric and tulsi and ginger and salt water and whatnot? Yes, they are known to have some effect on the immunity, some effect on the inflammation, but we do not know whether they work on the virus or not. So blindly taking it may not be useful. And again, many a times immunity is specific. Say for example, you have taken polio drops that will protect you from polio, not from measles. For measles, you will have to take that measles shot. So for virus, for coronavirus, you will require that coronavirus shot, which is not available. But we don't know. Oh, maybe that these uh, preparations like uh, kada or uh, haldiwala dud or tulsi or they might be useful. But one thing is certain that they are not dangerous. You can take it. If it is useful, it's, it's, it's a bonus. But it is not harmful, that's for certain. So, you can take it. We do not have established cure for COVID. Neither we have got vaccine. Proclaimed immunity boosters may prove to be protected, may not. Only thing is that when you consume it, you don't be under the false impression that you are protected now. And nothing can happen to you. You can go without mask. You can touch anywhere. You may not take a bath after coming home. You don't need to wash hands because you have taken a giloy kada. So that's not okay. Children and COVID. Well, children get infected as adults do. But they do not develop disease as frequently as adults. Reasons too technical for this group. Infected children do spread. They don't suffer from the disease. So when the schools open, the real danger is spreading into the community rather than the children suffering from it. Of course, children can suffer. But the chances of acquiring disease are much lower than the adults. So, uh, although children do suffer, but the chances are less. But they definitely spread and the chances are high. Children can bring infection from outside, from school and infect other family members, especially if they are elderly. Or they are the most vulnerable people. Children do not observe social distance. And uh, that's why they get and spread both things. Infections mm -hmm. fast. Children frequently hug, kiss, show love to people to whom they are attached. They don't like to wear masks. And in fact, the guideline is this, that it's not mandatory for children to wear, wear masks uh, who are not elder than five years. That touch Anything they get attracted to. And as, uh, when they play, they play with a common toy. They play with the same ball. They play with the same toys, the same um, uh, article. So they are all uh, contaminated, if one child is contaminated. Swings and slides in the parks need special mention. The, the swings and the sliding boards they are certainly contaminated because uh, some of the child might have been infected. So you need to avoid using that. Your children need to avoid using that. They resist or do not understand the importance of frequent hand wash. Luckily, they less frequently end up into serious illness and recover easily. Post-corona era. This is absolutely hypothetical condition. Mungeri Lal ke Haseen sapne, ye kabhi aane wala nahi hai. Corona is there and it is going to stay. So make preventive habits a part of your, your lifestyle. Jaysay haath dhona, jaysay mask penna, social distancing, namaste karna, wagena wagena. Don't crowd at uh, eateries, don't crowd at uh, 
uh, hotels, you don't crowd at uh, theaters. And uh, nowadays, people have started uh, uh, having uh, Uphala, etc., on phone. So you do, you also do like that, and uh, let let this become a part of your lifestyle. Relaxations are given by government. Corona has not given any relaxation. Government had to give it because uh, every economical activity was absolutely stopped. And to revive that, the markets had to open. So that people get their job, people, get, people start earning. But when you go to market, you don't bring the corona like virus like these people are doing. So be careful and safe. Lockdown cannot be lifelong. So that's, that's why it has been unlocked. Preventive measures are not strictly observed. The disease may flare up. Hand washing, cough etiquette, avoiding crowding, touch control, etc. must and must continue. And remember, chain is as strong as the weakest link. If one person behaves weak in the community, entire community is at risk. If, if everybody is strong, then the society and the community are protected. But if one person behaves nastily, doesn't follow the social distance, doesn't follow masking, keeps on spitting everywhere, then entire community is at danger. Corona ki kya mazguri? Rakho dogas ki duri. Dur se karo hello hai, varna zindagi se bye bye. Dur se karo hello hai, corona ko ke do bye. अगर जो हम मिले गले कोरोना की बल्ले बल्ले हाथ हो साफ कोरोना हो माफ मास्क नहीं तो टोकेंगे कोरोना को रोकेंगे एंड थैंक यू विथ फोल्डेड एंड्स वैसे भी मैं सेकंड नहीं कर सकता था लेकिन कीप अ हैबिट ऑफ सेइंग थैंक यू लाइक दिस ग्रीट लाइक दिस नाउ दिस सेशन इज ओपन टू क्वेश्चंस इफ यू हैव गॉट एनी प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड Ask questions if you have. Participants be chale gaye. Thank you. It was very uh, informative. I really, I, we have got a lot of information through this, which we were not doing. Uh, me, like I was not tying my hair and the mask usage. It was, it was really helpful too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyone else has any questions to ask? Please feel free to ask. I guess nobody has any questions to ask. Good. Okay. People are so bored that they don't want any more headache? Sorry. No, 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 it's not they don't like want that. Any more headache? <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. I guess everybody's. I must. I must. Appreciate it. I have heard this twenty-five times, thirty times. <laughs> yeah. फिर भी पूरा याद नहीं हुआ डॉक्टर बुच. But yeah, it's always a pleasure to hear you, sir. So. Thank you. Um, uh, I guess everybody, um, I understand. I think a uh, few people who had calls had to leave the meeting. Uh, rest, um, any participant, if, ha if any of you have any kind of question regarding, um, or maybe, uh, or maybe uh, that you have you get some question in your mind after some time, yeah, you can you can always, uh, Talk to me. Yes. I guess uh, the, for all the participants who have atten attended the entire training, and uh, I would uh, request you all to please give your feedback on the channel. Um, how how did you find the training and how helpful it was? What were the new things that you um, got to know from this training? It would be really great to hear from you all. And... Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Buj, again for um, 
taking up this entire session and um, i think it was a after a very long time i was able to um, ंग and um, yeah thank you ashita for uh, taking care of the training thank you thank you so much so uh, we'll end this meeting and looking forward to hear from you all and we'll also send the presentation to everybody okay. so that okay yeah yeah we'll send the presentation as well as uh, the link to the entire record recording yes okay okay thank you everyone bye thank you so much